Hi, I'm Ryan Noon, recording director for SOB with my associate Ed Semler, technical director. The story you're about to hear was written by Donald Sweet, a very knowledgeable PBM seaplane author and speaker. He has a number of books about the seaplane war in the Pacific from 1941 through 1945. This is The Sailor Aviators, a story of one PBM squadron from formation and training at Harvey Point, North Carolina, to the embattled islands of the Pacific against an enemy determined to win or die. No surrender. You will fly with a crew on patrol, you will attack enemy shipping and land bases, and be attacked by Japanese fighters. Sadly, you will read of shootdowns and crashes at sea. So sit back and enjoy a trip to the war-torn islands of the Pacific during World War II. You may get a tear in the eye, but also a laugh or two as these young men fight a war. A forward, the author's compelling narrative about the men of 21, that is the U.S. Navy's patrol bombing squadron VPB-21, recalls acts of bravery seldom told by those involved, and describes the daily training in an air, sea, land, military environment, and the shore leave fun and escapades that are shared over and over with a bit of added malarkey at each reunion. For most of us, even treasured memories fade with time, not because we want them to, but because so many new responsibilities and other important events enter our lives to compete for the time we have available each day. For this reason, each squadron member, as well as any individual who has an interest in aviation, will find the author's account like a personal diary. A book to pursue on a quiet weekend or evening to recall a period of time when this group of young men did things they never dreamed they would or could do. But the men of VPB-21, who came together as strangers to each other, soon turned into crewmates and shipmates with a bond words cannot describe. The Sailor Aviators will not only retain a prominent position on the squadron member bookshelves, but will also be a treasured legacy to their family members. Our thanks to the author for devoting those many hours of research, fact-gathering, and writing skills that were required to give us, the men of VPB-21, this excellent account of the time we spent together as a unit serving our country during World War II. Ensign W. Melmauer of Crew 14, VPB-21. About the author, Donald Sweet volunteered for the U.S. Navy in early 1943 at age 17. He served as a combat air crewman in the Pacific Theater of Operations, flying some 50 patrols. Returning home in mid-1945, he was assigned to train new crews. After leaving the Navy, he attended Gettysburg College and graduated in 1949. He then worked for the U.S. Navy Department on advanced underseas weapon systems in various locations in the United States and also in the Far East during the Korean War. The next 25 years were spent in the corporate world, followed by 10 years as a management consultant. He retired in 1991. In 1972, he served on the Navy's Palantir Task Force, which was instrumental in the development and initiation of the all-volunteer Navy. He now resides in New Jersey with his wife, Joyce, near to his eight grandchildren.